Hey guys, on this makeup tutorial, I'll be doing a look inspired by Fish. I did one before, I'll link it down below. It was the Yellow Belly Damsel. This one is inspired by, please forgive me if I'm butchering this. This fish is called the Declavis Butterfly. I will link a picture down below you can check out to see where I got my inspiration from. I don't really do makeup looks with purples too often, so I figured this would be the perfect time to incorporate it, especially since I'm wearing a purple top in this look. If you're interested in where I got this, it has like little rhinestones around the neckline. So cute, so adorable, I love it. And so loose, comfortable. If you're interested in where I got that, check the information box. A full outfit of the day will be down there as well. For pictures of the look, list of everything I used, check my blog. I will link that down below too. And if you guys are interested in the look, stay tuned. All over the eye, I took my Painterly Paint Pot as my primer. And I also applied it on the lower lid as well. On the lid only, or on the lid only, I took the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. That's going to help all the colors pop that I'm going to place on top. In the center of my eyelid, I'm taking Beautiful Iris. And it's a beautiful lilac shade or lavender shade. I'm going to take a MAC 242 and pack this onto the center. For the outer V, I'm taking mulch. I'm also going to extend that into my outer crease. For that, I'm using the Coastal Scents BRC S08 brush. It's just a nice contour brush. I'm going to go ahead and apply my buffer shade. This is Boy Crazy. Just take any light purple. You could have shimmer in if you want. This color appears to have shimmer, though it doesn't. It just goes away as you blend it out, which is perfect. Take in a MAC 224 for this. I'm going to take a darker shade to deepen up the outer V. This is Dark Dare Extra Dimension Eyeshadow. It's just a matte black. I'm taking a Kirkland brush like that. This is just going on the outermost V. I'm taking a little more mulch and applying it between the black and the lavender shade. In the inner tidbit area, I'm taking chrome yellow. It's a really bright yellow shade using a flat brush from Hobby Lobby. This is from Lowell Cornell. I'm going back in the center with some more of Beautiful Iris just to make sure the color didn't fade away any. For the lower lash line, I'm taking Teddy Eye Coal. This is also going on my waterline. It's just a nice brown. For my brow highlight, I'm taking Medium Plus Mineralized Skin Finish with a MAC 272. To set that brown eyeliner on the bottom, I'm taking Mulch again. I'm using an e.l.f. Professional Eye Crease Brush. I did merge it in with the yellow with the beautiful iris shade right here. Taking some eyeliner. This is the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner in Black. I'm taking my CoverGirl to blend Fix Stick in Medium D. I'm blending it out with Sedona Lace 224. I'm taking my CoverGirl Flamed Up Mega Curl Mascara. For lashes, I'm taking the number 12 it's from a local beauty supply store. They're very light, airy, and not dramatic. They look like this. So you can like barely see them. I will then return once I'm done and show you the rest of my face. I'm still in the process of letting this lash dry. But while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. I'm going to use the MAC Mineralized Satin Finish SPF 15 and NC45. I think it hurts somewhere. Some sad news that this is being discontinued. If it isn't already, I hope not. I'd be very pissed off. This is like my favorite MAC foundation. Nothing else compares. Hyper Real did compare, but they discontinued that, so. I'm taking the Sedona Lace number 480 to apply this. I'm 
because I want a little more brightness under my eyes, I'm taking more of that Tripland Fix Stick. Just want to make sure to buff it in with your foundation brush so that you don't have any harsh visible lines. I'm taking my Milani powder brush, powder blush, and T Rose. Going to use a T Mart blush brush to apply it. For a cheek highlight, I'm taking a little bit of my Becca. Shimmering Skin Perfector and Pressed Powder in Opal. Very gorgeous highlighter. I recommend it to everybody. I'm using that same brush I just used for the blush and just dusting it off. I'm keeping my lips very, very simple. I'm gonna go in. I guess I will take Brandy Color Statement Lip Liner from Milani. It's a darker pink shade. It's like our plum pink. And then for the lip color. This is the Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balm in the shade Ingenue. For a review on all of these, except for like one problem, well I might add that one because I have it now. Check the information box, those will be down below. That is such a pretty lip combination. I recommend it to everybody. It looks great. I'm pretty sure it looks great on pale to medium to dark skin tones. I will zoom you in and show you the final look now. These are the eyes. My highlighted cheeks. And my lips. Pictures of the final look will be on my blog. A list of everything I use will be there as well. For an outfit of the day, be sure to check the information box and I'll also have a link on where I got my top. Also, check an information box for a review on the hair. That will be down there as well. And I will talk to all of you soon. Thanks for watching.